because when you hear origami, first off, you know it's gonna be something that helps to keep me or get me and keep me organized. They're gonna be beautiful. They're gonna seamlessly fit into my home, even into the smallest usable spaces. And I don't have to put anything together. So it's a win-win across the board. And that's what you have here with this foldable six-tier bookshelf. We're gonna give you all the details and show you all of the colors, but just know that this is a price break. You also have a, a five flex on this one as well. And Lou Caputo is up early joining us <laughs> <laughs> with this one. <laughs> I am. <laughs> For yes. me, it's early. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lou, it's always great to have origami. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. It, you know, and I'll tell you something. This is one of my favorite pieces because mm -hmm. I feel like this is one that the customers truly created themselves. Because, mm -hmm. you know, in the beginning, we just had the one large origami rack, which was great. And by the way, origami is the after the Japanese art of paper folding because all these products do fold up. Um, but this particular one, uh, folks asked for. They wanted a piece that was a smaller footprint, which this is, and they wanted something a little more decorator friendly, which this also is. So we came up with this bookshelf. Now, some cool features on this, Tamara. When you look at this, about 65 inches tall, uh, the shelves are about two feet long, 11 inches deep on these. So you've got a lot of space on there. There's six shelves on each one of these. Now. If you look at these from the top, the shelves themselves actually have perforations and not the wires that we see mm -hmm. on most origami. And the reason we did that is since they're using this for um, smaller objects, like your little tchotchkes and things that you might want to put on display, they would fall through the wire. They're not gonna fall through these. Now, why did we put holes in them at all? Airflow, water flow, some people use these for plant shelves. There's a lot of different reasons that we did that. Now, also notice on the sides right here, we have um, these the cross hatching here, the lattice work on the side. And the reason we have that is that, well, it's a practical thing. It looks good, yes, but also so books don't fall off the sides. So that was a big reason. Now, let me show you the magic though, because this for me is what it's all about. Yes. The fact that you don't have to put this together. It comes fully assembled when you get this at home. This is how it's gonna come to you, flat packed in a box. To open it, all you have to do Grab the sides, mm -hmm. separate it. Gravity does most of the work. I'm gonna spin it around just so you can see this. This right here is a patented design, this toggle on the back that Origami's made. You push this here. Now, as soon as I did that, mm -hmm. the entire bottom of this is now rigid. So I can pick this whole thing up just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we just slide over the top shelf mm -hmm. and we're done. Never now, know. we've got a lot of colors today. Yes, we do. Um, and you can see right here, this is the beautiful orange mm -hmm. that we have. Um, but let's come on over here because we do have everything uh, set up on this nice board. It makes it so much easier now to do it this way. Okay. So here's all the colors we have at this moment. We've got the, the beautiful black right here and it's, it's a nice little glossy finish there. We've got the platinum. We've got the vintage bronze. We have the sage green, which is one of my favorites, the navy, the orange that I've been demonstrating with, and then a really nice light yellow. Very nice, and just so you know, the navy, last 50 of those available mm -hmm. in navy right now. Uh, we do try to get the colors back in, but it takes a while. Yeah, it because, does. Because of the way that they're so solidly made, it, you know, yes. we can't turn it around overnight. So if you want the navy, you do not want to wait too long on those. Right. But I like that these are more like, um, kind of util you know, utilized colors mm -hmm. and some of the fun colors. Yeah, as that's well. what we do. We Keep try to have your anywhere. basic silver on one side and then we've got all the fun colors on the other. Now, a mm -hmm. couple things about the weight capacity on this because mm -hmm. this is powder coated steel. So I said that people use this for plant shelves, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it is powder coated steel, you can leave these outside if you want to, okay? You don't need to worry about that. They will be chip resistant, they'll be uh, scratch resistant, but most importantly, corrosion resistant. And that's where the outdoors part comes in with these. Now, when you look at this, you're gonna notice the feet on this. There are no wheels, okay? Right. Because these are not meant to roll around. These are meant to stay in place. Although you can buy wheels for them. Okay. We do, yeah, we do sell wheels for these as well. Okay. However, what I'm gonna show you is these types of feet are what are known as leveling feet, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have a floor, like in this one's not exactly level, right? I can, by going clockwise, bring the foot down or going counterclockwise, bring it up. Nice. So that's gonna stop it from rocking. Now, here's the thing about the feet, though. If you put the feet on this, okay, as we have right here, we, we re recommend that you limit yourself to 50 pounds on each shelf, but if you do the math on that, that's 300 pounds. Yes, <laughs> so yes. It's, we, we say we're, you know, limit yourself, that's a <laughs> that's lot. That's a lot. Now, without the feet, though, let's say you've got a concrete floor, it's perfectly level. If you don't use the feet, you can actually up that limit to 70 pounds per shelf. Wow for a total of 400 
and 20 pounds. Wow, that's a lot that you it can is. put on here. So keep in mind of where you're planning to put these. And this one is more streamlined than the big origami shelf that we, that yeah. thousands of, of you have, have ordered. So this one is gonna be, I think it easily uh, lends itself to a smaller area in your oh, home, yeah. that little nook, that little empty wall that there's nothing there. And you're thinking this is completely unused space. Go up use it vertically mm -hmm. and that's what you see right there. There's so many things like you said the books, the you know the tchotchkes, the plants, the the picture frames that we want to keep and store. Yep. This is how you do it and you just choose the color and decide which room you're going to put it in. And if you want a few of them today on a price break, then do it because you've got five flex. You're literally getting these home for $19.99. <laughs> and, and we want to give you some ideas of how you're going to sure. use them. Because yeah. the vintage bronze, I mean, this is beautiful in like a living room area. Oh, absolutely. Area. Well, and yeah. in this case, an office. I mean, if you have an office in or even out of the home, mm -hmm. this could be a really great piece of furniture. Because you want office furniture to, you know, be kind of durable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because especially if you have employees, because, you know, they're <laughs> you not going to treat it the way you would. So <laughs> this is true. nice and durable. And I love I love the look of the vintage bronze, but look at how much we have on here. Mm -hmm. The envelopes, the, the ream of paper that's on here. I mean, there's a lot of space and you know, in an office, you might have heavier things. Yes. Um, and that's why it's important to have shelves that can really stand up to it, you know? Love that. Even if this is just your mailing center in the, yeah. in the office, you can see everything, nothing's falling down. Absolutely. And you can store a lot there. Yeah. So that's that vintage bronze. Yeah, that's the vintage bronze. Now, here's, oh, this is a different green. This is the emerald green, which we oh. didn't actually have on the little board over there. Okay. But as you can see, beautiful shade of green. Mm -hmm. And we have this one set up. Uh, if you're a crafter, mm -hmm. you know, these are wonderful uh, stations for that, to have all your craft supplies out there have it right at your fingertips when you need it and it's so much easier than building a piece of particle board yep. and the nice thing about this is if you are a crafter and maybe you spill a little paint on here or you, you get something you know mm -hmm. a mark on this you can wipe it right off I mean with particle board the chances are it's going to dry and it's going to stay there but because sure. this is powder coated yeah. you're not going to have that problem. Love that. Yeah. All the way up. You're using all of your space. Look at this. This is that navy that is getting very limited. Yeah. For, so babies, changing station. This mm -hmm. is a great place. I'm not saying change the baby on this, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> you know, keep the supplies on here. Uh, so you've got everything right there at your fingertips. And again, it's something that is washable. This is something that, you know, can hold a lot of weight. You know, speaking of weight, since it is a bookshelf and there are people out there that still have books and you may want to put what? them on here. I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> your, your book museum. Um, <laughs> if you want to put them on there, uh, we had a, a medical student call us a couple of years ago and tell us about how she had a particle board bookshelf in her room in her, uh, you know, in medical school and it was bowing from oh the weight of the gosh. books on it. Yeah, yeah. It oh. was starting to That's not going to happen. That's good. With That's one good of these. to know. Yeah. That's good to Whoops. know. Now, if you look right here, um, mm -hmm. you know, in the bathroom, I have yet to meet someone who has enough storage space in their restroom, mm -hmm. okay? And especially if, let's say it's a half bath, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's a guest bath, bathroom. Sure. Maybe you've got a pedestal sink, maybe, and there's no storage underneath it. This is a great way to add that storage. And I feel like the footprint on this is perfect mm -hmm. for your, those smaller areas. That's I really right. do. That's right. Because it's not too big or too wide. Matter of fact, um, 20, yeah. 24 inches from side to side. Right. Okay. Just about 11 inches deep. Okay. And it is 65 inches tall. Okay. Yeah. So a really, this is perfect. Like, I like that you can reach everything because if it were taller, maybe it would be harder to, you know, to utilize the higher oh, yeah. spots for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. This is going to be that really great size for a lot of places in our homes, in our apartments, in our dorm rooms, right. in our shared spaces, really. And you just choose which color. And my favorite part is those three words that every woman wants to hear. No assembly required. <laughs> Those. And, and music to my ears as well. Because I'm the furniture guy. So, I mean, I end up having to build it all the time. And, and that's the thing about this. I mean, you want to talk about immediate gratification. Yes. Within moments of right. getting it. We've all had this happen. You know, where you bought the furniture. Mm -hmm. And you get the box. You bring it home. Yeah. And it sits, and it sits, <laughs> right. until you got a whole like afternoon, you're like, all right, I'm gonna need some time for this. Yeah, I need to, no, yeah. watch. You have Here's to wait origami. for a rainy day, and you're like, okay, I guess I'll go put that together. Yeah, you could yeah. do this during a commercial break. You could. Okay, if you're watching TV, look yeah. at this, boom. Very quick, very easy, and we're done that fast. I mean, that's all there is to it. This is good. It's the beauty of it. Well, I, again, origami from, literally from day one, from the very first origami item that we ever brought into HSN, it has been a customer pick. Mm -hmm. It has been hugely 
hugely popular and they've just given us more options. So maybe you have the bigger unit that you have in your basement or in your garage and you're thinking, yeah, but I still have, you know, clutter or I still have maybe collectibles that sure. I want to keep in one area. This is where you put them. Um, I like that it's, it's spring now. So we're thinking yeah. about spring cleaning and maybe for you, it's trying to get organized. I always say we're, most of us are not organized because disorganized because we want to be. We're disorganized because we don't have places to put things. Yes, yeah, exactly. This is where you put things. This is where you put everything together and instantly clean off that tabletop. If you can't see your dining room table because there's all of your hobby, you know, all of your hobby, your crafting is on sure. your dining room table. This is where you store all of your crafting oh, yeah. Yeah. ideas and get, gain that dining room table back. Right. Well, it, there's no reason why you couldn't add this into a kitchen as well. I've seen people do it and yeah. use it for kitchen electrics, mm -hmm. you know, pots and pans, I mean, bowls, I mean, whatever you want. In fact, take a look at these photographs that we've got of the rack, and it's the same a bookshelf, just in different settings. Yeah. And notice how well it blends. There it is in a living room, okay? But, or a dining room, rather. Now, what happens if, you, you know, we put it into maybe a, a living room setting? Well, take a look at this. I mean, it changes from room to room to room. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same piece of furniture, but it just works so well. Now, if you're sitting at home, you're saying like, all right, but wait a minute, I wanna use this on my porch. Can mm -hmm. I use it on my porch? You can, and here's why. I mentioned powder coating, and let me explain that to you. If you look at the bottom of this, okay, you're not going to see a single blemish. You're not gonna see a paint streak. You're not gonna see any place missing paint, no voids, nothing like that. Because powder coating is a process where, as opposed to paint where you just slap on a coat of paint, we sit there and we just wait for it to dry. With powder coating, they actually attach electrodes to the metal. They put an electric charge through the metal and then they spray it with a dry powder coating material. And it literally wraps around it. It looks like, almost like it's oh, magnetized. It yeah. wraps around it. And and it finds all the voids, it finds all the holes and fills them so completely that we can say that it's corrosion resistant. And that's why I tell people, look, you wanna use this as a plant shelf, you go ahead. You wanna grow an herb garden on here, mm -hmm. you can do that. You wanna put it in your garage. We're not gonna tell you where you have to use it. Mm -hmm. You can use it for anything you want. Just cause we call it a bookshelf, right. doesn't mean it has to be. That's right. And you're seeing the way you cut, it's gonna come in a big box yes. because it's already put together. You just open it up attach the one hook on the back yeah. and then the one on the top and that's it and you're done. And then it's just up to you. If you put the feet on, it can hold up to 300 pounds. That's a lot. If you don't put the feet on because you ha it's on a level surface already, it can hold up to 420 pounds. That's a lot. It really is. I mean, think about that. And now we just decide which color. Should yeah. we, should, can yeah. we can yeah, we you want to do the colors again? again? All right, yeah. so l let's come on over here real quick. We'll show everybody the colors that we've got. And I think we've got the emerald green too. Okay. We yes, do. we do. We have a, okay, a we don't have Okay, we don't have a little piece on here, but we okay. do have the emerald green as well. So we've got the black, the platinum, which looks a lot like stainless. If you're thinking about one for the kitchen, maybe think about that. The vintage bronze goes great with leather and wood. Beautiful sage green. We also have that emerald green as well. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll show you the emerald green real quick. Okay. Just so you can see it. There's Very the emerald pretty. green, so you can see the difference between those two. Yeah. We've got the beautiful navy. Almost gone in navy. Final, okay, that's right, almost gone in navy. We've got the orange, and then we've got the light yellow. Okay, this, it's a hard choice because they're all good, but if yeah. you want a few of them, get them while they're on price break. If you are saying, oh, that would be great in the den, or that would be great in your son's room, or whatever the case is, yes. go ahead and get the one that's gonna be right for you. Lou, thank you. You're very welcome. For sure, My as pleasure. always. And um, we've got so much more, as a matter of in fact, we are going to give you some information about our HSN Protection Plus plan, and then we've got Martino Cartier with Gabor Wiggs coming up.